Now, moving ahead from uh, comparing the average values between two or more groups, we're looking at two variables, and we want to know if the uh, there's a statistically significant correlation between two variables. And um, for this to happen, we would look back to the earlier definition of what kind of variables, and we generally define the variables in two groups, the categorical variables and continuous variables. So if we were to go back to our teaching ratings data, we have instructors who are male and female, and some instructors are visible minorities and some are Caucasian. So we have these two variables, um, male and female and, and visible minority status, and these two variables are categorical. And if we are comparing or trying to determine the correlation between two categorical variables, we would use a chi-squared test. And we would begin with a cross tabulation between the two values. But if we have uh, two continuous variables, for example, the teaching evaluation score and the beauty score of an instructor, um, then these are two continuous variables and they can assume any very reasonable value within the range. And what to do? Then we use a Pearson correlation test for those. And we usually begin with a scatter plot to see what's the kind or nature of the relationship between the two variables. So let's begin with a question. And the question that we would work with is the following. Um, are male instructors or professors more likely to be tenured in our data set? So let's begin with a cross tabulation between gender, male and female, and tenure, that is tenured profs, and then followed by a chi-square test. So we do the tabulations. In the rows, we have tenured no versus tenured yes, and female instructor are these and male is these. And we would like to, we can eyeball these numbers or we can turn them into percentages and SPSS readily produces percentages. And we look at the those who are non-tenured in instructors. We notice that 49% of the instructors who are non-tenured are female versus 51% who are male. But for the professors who are, or instructors who are tenured, 40% were female and 59.8% were male instructors. So within the 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 tenured group we see a greater preponderance for males to be tenured but in the untenured group the distribution between males and females looks similar so how do we do the chi-square test this is the statistics for chi-square test and it produces this value um, this is the chi-square test value 2.55 and this is the significance or the p-value of 0.11 we do have a threshold or a, a rule of thumb to work with since the p-value, the significance value is 0.11, which is greater than 0.05, we fail to reject the null hypothesis that the two variables are independent. And therefore, it leads us to the conclusion that the systematic association between gender and tenure does not exist. Now, this was an example of a categorical variable. Uh, now, work, let's work with the continuous variables. And we work with teaching evaluation score and the beauty score. We have the normalized beauty score on the x-axis and the teaching evaluation score on the y-axis. And we see some sort of a, you know, you can eyeball a positive um, upward sloping curve here. But it would be better if we have a test. So what we do is we run the Pearson correlation test between the two variables. And if you look at the test value, so this is the normalized beauty score here and the teaching evaluation score here. And the correlation is 0.189. The output from SPSS puts two asterisks next to this correlation value of 0.189, which it says that the correlation is significant at the 0.01 level. Um, and um, the formula for the Pearson correlation test is right here. A null hypothesis is that there is no association between an instructor's looks and um, the beauty score, that is, and the teaching evaluation score. And the p-value, the t significance for two-tail test is less than 0.05, our uh, rule of thumb. So we reject the null hypothesis, which is that the, there's um, no association. Um, and when we reject that null, we conclude that there exists a relationship between beauty and teaching evaluation score. And uh, this correlation coefficient, um, this is the formula. I just wanted to let you know that the value for a correlation coefficient varies between 0 and 1.